What's up YouTube, Growing With Dev here. We're on the farm today, and today we're gonna to talk about how we can get some quick electricity even while being in the middle of nowhere. This 10 acre parcel of land that I call G&D Prime, Grow Next Door Prime, we've been managing this for about a year and a half, and oh, it has been a journey. From digging wells, to building soil, excavating. One of the biggest hurdles that we had to overcome was getting electricity on the farm. So here in Florida, we have a thing called FPNL, Florida Power and Light, but we don't have any of that here. There's no electrical poles. We are off the grid. And as my farmer friend John says, it, it's kind of like farming in Guatemala. We don't have any city water, city electricity, none of the advantages of being truly an urban farming operation. But what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And with a little bit of digging and research, I've been able to successfully set up an off-grid solar array earlier this summer that has allowed me to get electricity on this rural plot of land. I want to show you guys how. While I won't be getting into the finer details of electricity, that would make this video way too long. I'm going to go through my experience personally as a farmer setting up my off-grid solution, as well as things that I would like to invest in in the future, or if I had to do it all over again, we go through the headache so you don't have to. Now we've been whipping up videos just like this, explaining our journey managing this particular property, as well as finding direction in life and self-improvement. If you guys find this your speed, make sure to give this video a like if it helps you. And if you wanna stay tuned for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps it out. Now let's dig in. Now in a very simple off-grid solar energy solution, there are five major components that you'll need. So first things first, we have solar panels. This is made out of photovoltaic cells. If anybody thinks of solar energy, they probably think of these things. This is a 200 watt solar panel. So every hour is gonna gather about 200 watts of energy to be stored. These convert raw solar energy from the sun into a form of DC energy. And I recommend getting yours if you're gonna go for your first off-grid system. Try finding some deals on OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, or Craigslist. These are where I got these for very cheap. And if you're going to do that, just make sure that they're not damaged. So if they're connected to an existing array or system, make sure that they actually work. One way that you can do that is by using a thing called a multimeter and checking the box in the back. If you're going to do that, make sure wear gloves, use as many safety precautions as possible, and have the solar panel out in the sun. Now, if you don't want to have to go through the premium of buying new solar panels and you don't want to have to go through the hit or miss of trying to find new solar panels that work, I recommend Santan Solar. They sell $50 solar panels for bulk. You can get 10 for 50 bucks each. It's a great deal. And I have the link in the description below. Definitely recommend them for you solar panels that are verified to work for you. All right, so next up on our system, I'm gonna assume that you guys want batteries in your system to store whatever extra energy that you may have. You're gonna to wanna to get a solar charge controller. Right now we're using a Victron MPPT 150. We have about 800 watts per hour being gathered during daylight hours by our solar panels up on top. And the solar controller's job is to act as a middleman between your batteries and your panels. So your panels are gonna be generating enough output all the time but in order to safely charge your batteries, you're gonna need a solar controller as a middleman to move that energy into its potential energy state. The third part of the system, of course, is the batteries. I've opted to use lithium batteries just because I find that they're a lot more versatile than deep cycle batteries. They need a lot less maintenance. Um, a couple of caveats about this though is that they are significantly more expensive, a lot more expensive, for instance, a deep cycle, a deep cell battery like this will be about 200 bucks. And this has about, what, 100 amp hours? Right. While a lithium battery like this, a 200 amp hour battery, um, yes, it has significantly more capacity, but it's a lot larger and it costs about a thousand bucks each. So, on the price side, probably I would go for deep cell batteries. However, with deep cell batteries, you have to be aware that you can never or safely go less than about 50% of the storage capacity for whatever you need. So if you have about 100 amp hours here, for instance, you cannot let this go below 50, otherwise you'll damage the battery. With lithium batteries, you can go pretty much as low all the way to zero as you want. They charge a lot faster. 
Uh, they require a lot less heat maintenance. So there's a lot of give and takes and pros and cons between each other, but I see myself having the lithiums for longer use. Now next, we have the inverter. This is just a cheap inverter that I got from Amazon. Um, this allows me to gather the DC energy, so this is direct current potential energy from the batteries and convert it into AC energy or alternating current. You might have heard of an inverter as being used in like a car. So it takes the energy from your car battery and allows you to charge your appliances. It's pretty much the same concept here. It's taking energy from the batteries here and allowing me to connect it to my appliances, whatever tools I may have. I actually have a farm worker here, Felipe, that has an electric bike. And sometimes he'll just plug into here and charge his bike. We'll charge our phones. We'll charge whatever pumps that we may need. And we have a bunch of electrical outlets and uh, adapters coming out of here all the way over to the other side of the farm that allows us to run things like air pumps, regular pumps, even our garden hose that we may use from time to time. And it just allows us to have electricity on the farm. So this system is not very dissimilar to a system that you'd find in like an RV camper or if you have like a, like a trailer park situation. Um, you would probably be exposed to using solar panels and a system like this in order to get cheap electricity um, wherever you may need to go. I find it so liberating because this is something that like no one really taught me, but just the ability to take these uh, pretty functional components and be able to get something that every one of us typically uses every day, electricity, um, it really opens up the barriers when it comes to me being able to work on other properties. So one thing that may be a roadblock for another farmer, like, oh, they don't have city water or oh, they, or, oh, they don't have electrical, they would not consider working on that property. Now this opens up the possibilities or the ability for me to go anywhere really, have a system like this and be able to get to work. So I'll go on the record and be the first person to say that a couple years ago, I did not know anything about solar energy. I don't proclaim to be an expert, but I did learn and it did work. And I did learn from a lot of people that you guys are probably learning from as well, such as YouTube creators, YouTube University. So I'm going to add a couple of links in the description below of some creators that I appreciated their content. And this is just one way of me showing the application of using that functional knowledge in a setting related to agriculture and farming and tech that I would like to get in the future. I've had my eyes on a particular product, Lion Energy Systems. One of my friends has advocated for this and I've seen how he uses it. And throughout my research in solar energy and just electricity in general, I found that yes, you can learn these fundamentals, but this is a do-it-yourself system. Sometimes you may not have the time, means, or energy to learn the nuances or even have the safety precautions to do this. So buying a product like Lion Energy would probably be easier. They already have everything out of the box, pre-packaged. You don't have to buy a separate inverter, a separate solar controller, batteries, lithium batteries, panels. They have everything all in one. So if that's more your speed and you're just looking to get off the ground in starting your off-grid solution, then I would probably go with that. I'm going to add a product link. It's an affiliate link in the description below if you guys want to go check them out. This is just one piece of tech that I would like to get in the future and hope to do a video on very soon. Awesome, guys. So this is just one hurdle that me as a budding farmer, I had to overcome when working on this off-grid property but I hope this helps you guys and opening your eyes into the potentialities of using solar energy and just setting up your own off-grid solution. So if you guys saw an improvement that can be made on my system, anything that you recommend or even products you recommend, please add it to the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps algorithm out. And if you wanna see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps the algorithm out as well. Now, this is Growing With Dev, signing off until next time. Peace. He's still right there, guys.